Probably you have seen so many times this kind of motion graphics elements. These are basically called the infographics. In this video, I am going to break down how to make this type of animation. This is going to be completely from scratch and no other third party tool. Hey everyone, my name is Sanjay. Before going to proceed, make sure to subscribe my channel and turn the bell notification. So stay with me and let's begin. Alright, we are on Head Film Express. So as you already know, our first step is to make the composite shot. So let's do it first. So here I am uh, taking the duration of 10 seconds. So now we are on composite shot. And here, uh, so before going to make this animation, our first step is to make the two lines here. One is uh, vertical lines, one is uh, horizontal line. So these two lines are basically called the uh, axis, x axis or y axis. So let's make it. So first of all, let's make a plane here. And here I'm going to rename it as a horizontal line. And here I will choose the color white. Now under the transform property, let's change the scale so that it becomes like a line. So under Y value, I'm going to uh, put here value 0.5 so that a very thin line I can get. Okay, so this is my line, and I'm going to place here at the bottom. I think it's perfect. So before we going to apply the animation, let's change the anchor point here. Here the anchor point is just the middle. So we have to shift our anchor point to here. Okay, it's perfect. So now I'm going to apply the animation here. To apply the animation, let's activate the keyframe here. Under the scale property. And here you simply bring the x value to zero. So that we can have this horizontal animation you see that now you again uh, just speed up the animation to make the animation smoother just select both the keyframes activate manual bezier so here we can get a smooth animation you can see here so our uh, x axis is done now we have to make the y axis it means the vertical lines now for making the vertical lines no need to recreate this you simply duplicate this x-axis line so here i am just going to duplicate and here i am going to just rename it a uh, vertical line and under vertical line you simply go to the rotation property and you simply apply the rotation to 90 degree i think it will be minus 90 degree don't change anything just apply the rotation to 90 degree now in this case here as you can see it surpassed the canvas so we have to reduce the length of this vertical line all the keyframes are exactly same so it's perfect so as you can see our both horizontal and vertical lines are done so our next step is to make the bar chart here so again uh, you make a one plane here I'm going to rename it as a box. You will just break the chain so that you can uh, manipulate both x direction and y direction separately. So I think this much will be sufficient. So I'm going to place this. I'm going to place this bar here. So before going to apply the animation, let's change the anchor point here so that we can start our animation from this position. I think it's perfect. Now you simply place this bar here. Since the bar shoot starts after finishing the animation of this axis. So here I am going to reduce the length of this box. That means the box should start from here. So now I am going to apply animation. Again you go to the transform property. And under transform you just go to scale. And here you simply uh, play with the y value and here you just make it zero now as you can see it starts animating now to speed up the animation you simply reduce the gap of two keyframes select both the keyframes activate manual bezier 
you can also play with the value graph also but here i'm not going to use it i think uh, applying only manual bezier is sufficient so our first box is done now to make the second box no need to recreate it again simply make the duplicate of this first box okay so this is my uh, box 2 so i am going to just shift the position and here i am just going to reduce the length of this box so as you can see here i have simply reduced the length okay now the second box should have more length so for that just again uh, go to the transform property under this particular keyframe you simply uh, raise the y value again a little bit more now you can see here the second box is going up than the first box so again you have to proceed the third box also you simply make a duplicate and reduce the length Again, you uh, go to the keyframing value and increase the length. Now it's completely up to you how many bars you are going to make. Now I'm going to show you the animation from the very beginning, how it looks here. Perfect. Now here I'm using only the black background with white box. You can use any kind of background like any blue background with white charts or whatever the color you like that's completely up to you so using the same technique you can make some line charts or pie charts if you found this video helpful then smash the like button leave your comments and share it and don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon i'll see you in the next video